Good afternoon. We are in uh, Nehru Park, which is situated in Delhi's Chanakya Puri. This is a beautiful park which is spread over approximately 80 acres. Has a lot of trees uh, of different species, flowering trees. It has got uh, jogging tracks. It has got two gyms. Nice place to come to. So today's topic is going to be on leave no trace ethics. So you see what happened was uh, in the mid 20th century after the World War II, a lot of people started going to the back country in America and they would take pride on their wood skills. So they go to the forest, they cut timber, make log huts, burn wood for uh, cooking or warmth and uh, slowly they started impacting the environment with the advent of uh, white gasoline, synthetic tents, it became easier for people to go to the forest for recreational purposes. People had a lot of time then and this slowly started showing a lot of uh, impact on the forest itself. Then this concept of leave no trace ethics or LNT came up around uh, the 70s, which had basically seven principles and if one was to follow them, the idea was that you could, leave, you could go to the forest or back country, enjoy the back country and come back leaving the place in pristine condition as, as it were before you went there. So this is a Nalgene bottle from Knowles and on the back of it, we have leave no trace principles, seven principles of leave no trace. They are pretty easy to follow, you know, and uh, they are valid for any country, any continent, any time. You can take them to the urban setting and they'll still be uh, as useful. What are the principles? There are just seven of them. The first is plan ahead and prepare. Which basically means that when you go to the forest or back country or the mountains or anywhere, plan well ahead of time and prepare yourself well. This ideally would mean that uh, checking up on weather, if it's going to be cold, you should be carrying enough uh, jackets or warm, warm fleece or something of sort. You should have a warm sleeping bag. No, your woolens should be there. Otherwise, what happens? You land up in the back country, you start feeling cold at night and then you'll be looking for wood to chop, either a dead wood or in desperation you would chop down some wood uh, to create a fire for warmth and this would be an impact on the forest or back country. So when you plan ahead and prepare, uh, you are going to be better prepared for any kind of an eventuality or climatic condition. You prepare yourself well by doing a little bit of research where you are going and uh, what is available over there and take your stuff accordingly. The second principle of LNT is travel and camp on durable surface. So that means when you are passing through the back country, use the trails which already exist, don't make new trails. You are traveling on durable surface. If there is a scree area, try to avoid that. Loose rocks can make you fall, they can cause injury, they can create a slide further down. And uh, you camp on durable surface, which means that wherever you pitch your tent, it should be a stable area rather than finding out later that it was a little unstable and then you land yourself in trouble. The third principle is dispose of waste properly, which ideally means that the garbage that you take out to the back country should be brought back. At Adventurism, we do this by taking garbage bags with us. We try to take such kind of 
stuff with us which will generate very little garbage if at all there is some garbage we use garbage bags collect all the trash and we bring it back so that it can be disposed of properly in some incinerator or somewhere else leave what you find there is a very interesting principle what people do is when they go to the forest or back country or mountains they find the fossil they find some flowers they have a tendency to pluck it and bring it home because it's a beautiful thing lnt says whatever you see or find in the back country take pictures make notes but leave it there so that the people who come after you can also enjoy the beauty of it so leave what you find eventually what's going to happen if everyone start taking the things back to their home uh, there will be no beauty left in the mountains or the forest. So why would people be going there? Take pictures, that's all. Don't take anything else. The fifth principle is minimize campfire impact. If you are going to a place where you want to pitch your camp, look around if there is already a fireplace existing, light your campfire there for the night to cook if not if it's a grassy meadow try to get some stones or rock or sand on which you can create a fire so that you don't burn the grass around there another thing that you can do is clear off all the debris dry leaves so that you don't start a forest fire by accident minimize campfire impact after you are done with the campfire after you're done cooking put out the fire completely by rousing it with water and disseminate and spread the ashes far and wide the place should be as clean as pristine as possible as you saw it when you came there next principle is respect wildlife a lot of time we get too excited when we see uh, wildlife in the forest something like deer we all tend to start screaming oh look at that it's a beautiful deer and we scare the poor animal away it is their place that we are going to it's their territory we are the visitors so be quiet and you will be able to observe a lot of wildlife over there and the seventh principle of lnt is be considerate of other visitors if there are other people camping around uh, be a little quiet don't be too loud don't be too boisterous don't start yelling because you never know how tired they have been from the day's walk. They also need their peace. That is what they have come there for. So be considerate of other visitors. Greet them. If you find some locals, greet them in the local language if you can. Be polite to them. You can exchange notes. Ask them about how the trail is. If the trail is open. If the trail uh, is uh, walkable. If there is uh, any landslide. So you can exchange notes with them. But be considerate, don't play loud music. Uh, of course, music playing uh, is a wonderful thing, but keep the volume as low as to yourself. So these are the seven principles of uh, leave no trace ethics, which are in the bottle. So you can pick up a bottle, Nalgene bottle, and uh, follow them. They'll be equally useful in the front country.